Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bahrain Now with me, your host, Ra Abdullah. We've got a great show coming up featuring great local talents, initiatives, and happenings from around the kingdom. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, here in Bahrain, as we have Volante Center Help, which helps women to progress in fitness and become fit for life. We have Noura Zamel to talk to us more about Volante. Well, good evening, Noura. How are you? Good evening. I'm good. Thank you. Amazing. Very well. Thank you. Well, you know, we've been hearing about Volante, and the word itself is kind of interesting. So what does Volante mean? Uh, it's a French word that actually means the will and willpower. Okay. And maybe I chose French because I wanted it to be like more of a spa kind huh. of a feel. <laughs> so that's the only reason that it went there. So okay. it just doesn't feel like it's a fitness center, but right. uh, on a with a twist. So that's why I went with this uh, kind of feel. Smart, actually, very smart. You know, when you say like, I'm going to the Bear Fitness Center, it's like, no, I'm going to Volante. <laughs> exactly, that's <laughs> like, the oh, whole that point. That is very posh. Wow, you. you know your French. <laughs> well, a bit of research. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So tell yeah. us more about the center. So it's, um, as I said, on um, like simple terms, it's a fitness center. But as I said, again, it's with a twist. So mm. it's not the usual kind of fitness center. Okay. It's a more less intimidating. It's, uh, we intentionally built it to be comfortable, to be your home away from home. Okay. And our classes, our like training, it's kind of like mild training. Okay. And um, uh, we're basically like our trainers are experienced more than 15 years. Wow. We have a physiotherapist on board. Amazing. Because we cater to women who need the attention, need right. the support. Right. So we kind of like, we cater to the women who actually either have physical challenges or they're beginners right. or just women who don't want to go and train into these like, tough kind of exactly. fitness centers. Exactly. So this is basically it. It's just a boutique fitness center Not that bad. you can just go train and socialize and meet like-minded women and uh, have fun. And we need that. <laughs> we really need that. You know, things what happens is that um, like speaking for myself as well, you know, you go to a gym and they have all these like circuit classes, stuff like that. And all of a sudden, like for a person like myself who did not work out for the longest time and then wants to hit the gym again, we get intimidated. Exactly. It's like all these moves, we don't know how to make these moves. Like, hey, do a push up. I'm like, okay, mm. do a push up like a spider. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, hey, do the mountain climbing. Hey, do yeah. the spider mountain climbing. Okay, something is not right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the thing is, when you go to a place and you find all that attention mm -hmm. and you find people who are caring for you, physiotherapists and all of that, that's a big deal. Yeah. So I think it's an amazing concept altogether. You know, people feel safe. They feel like they want to go back again. They don't feel intimidated. So what kind of reception have you been getting so far? How was the feedback? Oh, no, the, the ladies that do come in, they love it because it's for, for some reason, because they feel like a family because they right. all feel they all kind of have the same backgrounds. They all kind of have the same, you know, back pains, knee pains. So they start talking to one another about it. They start mm encouraging one another and right. I, I love that when I see that uh, they so they're kind of just like um, they're happy to be there right and that's the best thing ever I'm sure of it um, and basically I just wish that more women would know that such a center exists and we're here for you I mean mm. I do tell women like or other people like you know when they go to physiotherapists and right. they had like some kind of injury right and they've been to physiotherapists and then they go like okay we're done now you need to stay active you need to train right so where do you go now exactly well I'm, I'm not as fit as everyone else what am i supposed to do that's where we come in that's how we can it's help beautiful. you beautiful we're not a rehabilitation center mm. but we do believe with like an ongoing workout like just change it it's just a lifestyle come in do your workouts just in a mild way okay and the thing is, we because our trainer is a physiotherapist, so okay. when you come in, every member has her own file. Right. You come in with 
whatever like issues you have. Mm. So then they can know how to take care of you, how to support you, but just in a regular way. You go in, do the normal class, okay. but they can just modify a certain workout. No, don't do this because, you know, just do it this way, for example. Right. Or, and because our classes are small, we don't do big classes. Okay. So it can be more personal and right. they can see, but it's still a class. So you don't Amazing. feel like you're doing something other than people. You, you, you're going to a fitness center like everyone else. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, you see, I feel like I wish something like that can be even for men. You know what I'm saying? Inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> what <day>. happens, <laughs> you go to the gym and everybody's puffed. You're not sure exactly how they're puffed. Mm -hmm. And you're just trying to do a workout and you're just trying to do one push up when the guy next to you comes from the army, does to 100. And it's like, oh, it's open for everybody. I understand. So yeah. you can be motivated. I'm like, I'm not sure. <laughs> and all of a sudden you go in and it's like the trainer can really handle everybody, can really give the same attention to everybody. Mm -hmm. But what happens, I guess, in your case, what happens there is that that you give the right attention, you mm -hmm. know them by name, yeah. you know what's happening, you know their background, and they keep coming back and again and again. If it's not for the work, for at least for the social atmosphere you're giving, right? That's that's what we want to give them. It's not just that. I mean, we try to also do workshops, uh, oh. uh, just bring lectures that actually talk to women. Okay, everything out there is for young girls for the younger generation. So mm. no one does anything for like, and the older generation. Right. Women. So we try to include them. We try to do workshops that talk about the things that they go through, that right. they, so it's just, we, we, we try to do several things. It's not just a fitness center. It's just a place where they can find themselves and just find like-minded like -minded women. And there is truth to what you said. I mean, most of the workouts we see out there, most of the things they're promoting when it comes to, I would say, uh, fitness and wellness are for the younger generations. Yeah. Like, here's how you get a six packs. Okay, yeah. I'm happy with one pack right now. I just want to keep it like flat. And uh, we just love the idea of just saying fit. Just be right. fit. fit we, right? we want you to be fit, to be independent, to do just your normal routine in a fit way. Okay. And, uh, God forbid that you need a wheelchair in the future, that right. you'd, you can't go up the stairs. You can't, we don't want that. We don't want you to get to that point. We want you to get to the point where you can live your life, your, your routine with no help. Just, Amazing. Uh, just you. Love that. So my question to you right now, what made you do this? Like what sparked the idea of <laughs> Melante? Um, maybe it was just uh, my mom, my older sister, just as I said, they felt these pains, they felt these things. And as I said, physiotherapists would ask them to go and go and get active. <laughs> okay, where, where shall we go? And yeah. so that just uh, just came up. Okay, why don't we do such a thing that wow. just caters to these women? And um, so it just, it just came up that way. And uh, wow. Hopefully we can help more women, inshallah. Definitely. How long it took you since the day you got inspired or had the spark of the idea till the actual execution? Like, how long was that till Valencia uh, became a thing and people are going there? Three years. Three years? Yeah. Oh, wow. You're patient. Yeah. You're really patient. Because uh, I wanted it to be something good. I okay. wanted it to be something that could actually help and okay. uh, just really be something because it's really important because they're fragile okay uh, it's a it's a it's a fragile <laughs> kind of any uh, woman that you don't want to hurt because w the women that we help have either physical uh, like challenges, injuries right. or challenges or um, it, it, you need to be really careful with them so it has to be something that amazing really amazing just really good it's so good to know like Valente is available here it's so uh, good to know a center like that exists. I well mean, it's a big deal. Uh, I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you. I mean, I'm sure even the exercises that you do, that it helps them pretty much be fit, like you said. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about those exercises, like an example? Yeah. Uh, so we do offer like the normal kinds of classes, what they call them in the regular fitness centers. We do have strength and conditioning, balance and posture, and um, we do some yoga. Okay. We do strength uh, yeah i didn't say the strength and conditioning right. so we do those normal classes but we have levels 
So we have the basic level where they start are chair-based classes. The chair-based classes are for senior women or for women who are beginners um, who can't do certain workouts or mm. need to hold on to something because of their balance. Or uh, So those are the chair-based classes. So they do the same things, but on a chair. Okay. And we do have other classes that are on voluntary advanced. Mm. So there as well, the same kinds of classes, but again, uh, on a milder sense, okay. on um, that they take care. There's not a lot of jumping in it. There's not, they, they take care of like everyone and whatever their challenges are. They, they just make sure that it's, they don't push them too hard. Okay, great, great. Very considerate, you know, <laughs> very attentive in addressing everybody's needs. That's amazing. Oh, we have, we <laughs> try, <laughs> we try. So Volante is pretty much a place where people can go there. It's not only they're going to get attention, but they can leave with positive energy, knowing they're fitter to do things that they want to do and all of that, which is a beautiful thing to have. Plus, you have your physiotherapist and all of this. Mm -hmm. So uh, where is it? Where is the center? Uh, it's in uh, the park, Genebia. Okay. It's, uh, it's like a strip mall in Genebia. Right. Um, so th we try to choose as well as a, like it's a family mm. uh, based or family oriented kind of mall. Okay. Uh, and uh, it's, it's just a really easy place to go in. And we try our best that it's really simple to get to. I know some people tell us you're far, but we're not far from this people who <laughs> are in Saar or <laughs> we try our best. Maybe one day we'll start to open uh, more branches, you never no doubt, know. No doubt, no doubt. In the doubt. future, Definitely. inshallah. As Ronte becomes more popular, I'm sure you're going to branch out even not to other places in Bahrain. You're going to go regional, you never know, you may be even international. <laughs> inshallah. Right. Uh, let, let's start with Bahrain. <laughs> and then. Let's start with the park for now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any last words you would like to pretty much present us right now? Um, I, I just want to tell the women out there, um, no matter how, what, I mean, tough life you've been no matter what age you are no matter like if you haven't done any workouts ever there's always a time to start and right. you can always start with steps and just come in and try and I'd like to tell girls out there the guys out there if you see your mom your older sister that are just sitting there and not moving not doing anything please help them help right. them to get up right. move and just, if not to work out, to just socialize, to meet people who are mm. like them, so they understand that they're not alone. Sometimes they're just, they're not motivated to do anything else because right. they feel they can't. Right. Well, no, you can. Amazing. Just, just try and you will be able to do it. And let's help them. Let's help them just get out there. It's hard, it's tough. Women are not easy to deal with, <laughs> 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 but you can do it, you can do it. Yeah, just try. Amazing. So yeah, well, I just want them to know that such a place exists and hopefully we can help you out. Definitely. Well, bless you and big shout out to you and every Thanks. member of Volante. Thank, Thank you, you so much for bringing such a concept to life. Thank you. And we can only imagine big things happening for Volante and everybody over Inshallah. there. Inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for making this happen, actually, definitely. And thank you so much for being with us right here on Bahrain now. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was Noura Zamel. They're pretty much the founder of Volante, talking about the amazing journey and what they offer. All that took place right here on Bahrain Now. Well, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed that episode as much as I did. Don't forget to reach out to us on our social media accounts shown below. And stay tuned for more happenings right here on Bahrain Now. I'm Bara Abdullah. Till next time, Bahrain, goodbye and God bless.